Export radios, what are they? Are they CBs? Are they ham radios? Well, there's a lot of debate about that. I'm going to go over everything and explain what an export radio is. Stick around. So what is an export radio? You know, there's a lot of debate on these. Are they radios made for ham radio? Are they made for CB? Let me start by saying I am a ham radio operator, but I'm also an 11 meter guy. I operate CB radios and I, I kind of grew up in that culture, been around it for a long time. Um, I'm also going to say that this is a no judgment zone on my channel. If you've got a problem with CBers or if you've got a problem with ham radio operators or whatever, you probably want to move on because I'm going to bridge the gap to both. I, I understand the cultures of both. I'm but like I said, both a ham and a CBer, and um, I operate, although I operate with the uh, FCC type radios, um, my main radio right now is a President George FCC, which means it's a 4 watt AM, 12 watt PEP made for the United States non-export radio that I use because, you know, that's, that's all I need. I, I have fun with it or whatever. Now, I'm not going to judge you if you use these export radios and convert them over to 11 for power. I just kind of want to get it out there. A lot of people ask, what is an export radio? Well, let's be honest. A lot of these manufacturers make these 10 meter radios because they can make them at 35, 40, 50, 80, 100 watts. They can put some power in them for 10 meters. And they also make them very easy. I mean, very easy to uh, to convert and modify to, to put them on 11 meters. Like I said, I'm not going to judge you. A lot of people do that. I hear some very good operators um, doing that, operating on 11 meters. Is it legal? Well, not here in the United States. It's not, but um, I don't know much. I think if you just act right and do it, um, and I'm not condoning this. I know someone will put in the comments uh, as they always do. Look, guys, there's an entire culture of people that operate power on 11 meters and use these type radios. And yes, I think a lot of these manufacturers make these radios. They're number one market for these or the 11 meter guys. But you know what? As hams, man, we got some great radios, real affordable prices. that are export radios. I'll go through a few. I got a couple of them. One of the ones I have is the, um, the, the Redivus Alliance, uh, the HS4. I've had that radio uh, from them. I got that from Redivus and, um, use it great. Uh, there's some power there. It's a, like a 200 buck US radio that op that can operate all across the 10 meter band. You know, it's, um, it's SSB, it's AM, FM, you can use CW on this radio for roughly 200 US dollars, 35 watts SSB. It's a great radio. It really is. It's a good one to start. You know, if, if let's just say you're a new ham, a tech, and you want to, um, you know, you, you want to get in, into the game on SSB or whatever for, you know, a brand new radio that's affordable. This is a great radio to start with. I have it. I enjoy it. I've made some great contacts with this radio. It lets me also get out. It's a great mobile radio to uh, to put in. But this radio, honestly, it is a export radio. It's just another version of, uh, of the Anytone AT555+. Uh, plus. Or there's other ones. Uh, there's the same model, uh, European uh, company uh, out of France, CRT, has the uh, CRT SS6900V. This is all the same radio. And it's very, very popular in the 11 meter world. But you know what? It's in the, here in the States. It's sold as a ham radio for 10 meters and it's called an export radio. I love mine and it's great. If you're a ham, great, good radio to have. If you're an 11 meter guy, oh, you do your thing. Whatever. We'll move on. Another radio I just got that I absolutely love, an amazing, just an amazing export radio is the Ready Oddity QT80. This radio, I modded mine. Because it comes as a 10 meter, it's sold as a 10 meter ham radio, and uh, I modded mine. You, there's a mod for it that opens it up all the way to the 15 meter band. So I've got the 15 meter band, the 12 meter band on mine, and the 10 meter band. Yeah, mine will operate at 11. I personally don't do it. A lot of people, at another radio that a lot of 11 meter guys have now, and they're using this thing for 11 meters. Like I said, no judgment zone here. You do your thing. I'm staying legal because I'm a ham, and I put myself out here as well. This radio has other versions of it. it, it it's originally the uh, Anytone AT666 Pro, um, and it's 80 watts. It's 80 watts SSB. It can do CW, but I think it's a little bit of a, a mod you got to do for it for CW. Um, CRT, the uh, European company over in France, sells it as the uh, CRT or the CRT Superstar SS9992. Uh, um, 
thousand, I believe it is. Or, or I'm sorry, it's the uh, CRT Superstar five five nine nine zero zero zero. It's ten and a twelve meter there in, in their radio as well. Um, good, nice radio, it really is. And I I love the radiotity um, version of this radio. It's great and uh, a lot of fun with it. And uh, I'll tell you what, eighty watts. You know, really, uh, you get some punch to that eighty watt radio, and I've enjoyed it as well. Um, in that line of radios with uh, Radi Oddity, they also have the QT40, which is the Aries 2 clone. Um, any tone Aries 2 is that QT40 that they have there as well. That's a 40 watt radio, AM, FM, SSB. Uh, it has weather band on it as well. I believe it's also known as like a Voyager or a Voyager PX or a Voyager PX Aries 2, whatever. There's a lot of versions of all these out there. They kind of clone them. I guess in, in China where a lot of these are made, but um, 40 watt radio for radiotity. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. And it's once again, uh, a very, very affordable. It's 199 bucks radiotity. Um, the QT 60, another radiotity, um, uh, clone 60 watt radio. This was originally the Anytone AT 555 in tag two or tag 11, uh, sold in the, um, in France as the, uh, CRT, SS 8900, but, um, great radio as well. Um, it's, you know, like I said, radio oddity has got a great line of different, um, export type radios ranging from 40 to 60 to 80 Watts and ranging in price from 150 up to like $299 for the, uh, for the QT 80. I've got a radio oddity link below. I'll, I'll put, if you're interested in that. Another radio is that radio I really love, and that's real popular export radio. It's the President Lincoln 2 Plus. I have this radio, just a great radio. It's sold as a 35 watt, 12 and 10 meter um, radio. It can be modded as well. A lot of a lot of people use these in the 11 meter world, but um, I love mine. Made some great contacts with it. I love the looks and the form. I really like President radios. They're, they're great and. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's 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 very popular in the 11 meter world. Once again, no judgment zone here. If that's your thing. Have fun with your President Lincoln too. I also have a legal President Lincoln. I love my. Uh, I, I mentioned it earlier. My President George FCC. Along the President line of radios, they have other radios that are sold non-export here in the United States that have the FCC tag on it. That's how you know it's a legal, it is a legal, uh, 11 meter radio. And I, I, like I said, I have a couple. I have the, uh, the George FCC, I have the Harrison FCC. The Harrison does not have, uh, SSB. It is an FM radio though. I, I love that one as well. So a couple of great radios they have. Radio, I really, I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm going to get that's a great and really, really popular in the export world is the Striker SR955HPC. It's a 60 watt radio, a little bit more expensive than the others. It's about a $500 radio, super radio. And, and I've really watched a lot of people, a lot of 11 meter guys use this radio. And I was like, man, I've got to get one of those. Looks great. I reached out to Striker. They're going to send me one. And I can't wait to get a hold of that radio and use it for 10 and 12 meters as well. And it's going to be, it even says, if you look right on the front of the radio, amateur radio. And that's, uh, to, you know, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use that radio as well. There are some others out there, uh, other companies that make some great radios. As you start getting up there in price, uh, a little bit more pricier radio, the Rangers, there's the Ranger line of radios. They they have some 100-watt um, radios. I think it's the RCI 99N1s, 100-watt radio, really good-looking radio. They make some beautiful, I mean, absolutely beautiful base stations, 11-meter base stations, uh, export-type base stations. They're, I mean, just, they look like, they're nice-looking rigs. But the price of them start getting up there, and it's kind of beyond the scope of what I'm trying to to put out here in this video. Um, there's Galaxies as well. There's um, you know, quite a few other brands of people that put them out there. But um, just kind of wanted to explain what, a, what an export radio is. It's sold in the United States as a 10 or 12 or 10 and 12 meter uh, band amateur radio because that's the, the way they can legally sell it here in the, in the USA and the 11 meter guys can mod them over. I think we should take advantage of that as ham radio operators because it's a good way. 10 meters right now is just a really rolling. It's great. This, we're at the peak of a solar cycle. 10 meters is open a lot all the time. If you want a brand new radio, you're a new ham and you don't want to spend a lot of money, you know, a couple hundred bucks and you can have a nice rig with some power and that'll get you. You can work the world. If you look through some of the videos, what I've used these radios, you'll see I've just got some great, amazing contacts on it. 
on the on you know with using those radios. So kind of want to put that out there. If you're interested, take a look and really you're looking for a new radio. Take a look at some of these export type radios. Um, like I said, the radiodity ones I love. The presidents, I, I've got a couple president radios. I love them as well. I knew they do have the President Washington now, which is kind of I think they're moving away from the uh, Lincoln and and a little bit more advanced President Washington. Um, type radio, this export radio as well. So, so many good ones out there. There really is. Like This video I could go all day looking through and checking out all these different export type radios. But I just get this question a lot. What is an export radio? And I want to explain it. Yeah, it's a gray area. It's a very gray area. Um, yes, they build them for saying they're amateur radios. And they are. They are absolutely out of the box. They're amateur radios. But there's that market that they're they're aiming for is, is the 11 meter market and um, and the free banding market, what have you. So um, good for them. Uh, it's all about, you know, radio to me. That's what it is. And you know what? It's free world capitalism is what it's all about. They can make a dollar selling these things if there's a legal way to do it and good for them. Anyway, I hope you like that. Uh, enjoy the video. Uh, if, if you're if you're a new ham and you want a, a quick and easy way to get in it, check out these type of radios. They're 100% legal for you as a ham radio operator if you're licensed. Anyway, until next time, I'm Walt K4OGO. Thanks for watching. Hey, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And until next time, 73 guys.